It's so good to have you tuning in with us today as we look into the Bible for our devotion this morning. Uh, just to have a few thoughts and ideas that I want to bring to you just real quickly. I know some of you probably are dealing with issues. We all deal with issues, right? We all have issues. <laughs> Isn't that good to know? So this week, this thought hit me, and I went to a passage of Scripture that I've gone to several times before. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. And I thought about how often we need to check the gauges. You ever heard that expression? You need to check the gauges. You need to check the, you know, when you're driving in your car and certain gauges on your car is out of balance, you know to stop, get those checked, right? So we're really good with that in our cars and machinery and lawnmowers, whatever, but we don't do real good in our souls sometimes. There's gauges in our souls. And so it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 that Paul's talking to the church in Corinth about some of the issues that God's people have dealt with in the Old Testament. And one of their main issues was idolatry. Now, most of us today, we think we've, we beat idolatry, right? I mean, we're not going to have totem poles in our backyard. We're not going to have these little gods on a table in our house we burn candles to. Most of us don't, okay? We're, we don't have that issue. <clears throat> but there's a lot of other things that vie for our attention. They pull our attention away from God. We, we start depending on some of these things rather than God, and that's, that's a warning sign. So whenever I become overly dependent on myself or someone else or other things other than God, whenever I get my uh, blessings from or my encouragement from things other than God, you know, I need to depend on Him completely. And that's what Paul understood. And he was giving some warnings there to the people of God. And he was telling them, listen, these folks uh, were learning from their example, especially the children of Israel. That was the one thing they, they failed to do over and over again. They turned their hearts and their backs on God. And so here's what Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11 and 12. In verse 11, he said, These things happened to them, speaking of God's people in the Old Testament, when they failed to trust and depend totally upon God alone. <clears throat> these things happened to them as an example for us. They were written down to warn us who live at the end of the age. This message is for you and me. Now think about this. Paul's writing to people in Corinth and saying they're living at the end of the age. If they were living at the end of the age 2,000 years ago, okay, yeah, what age are we living in? <laughs> yeah, so it applies to us. Verse 12, he says, <clears throat> If you think you're standing strong, be careful not to fall. The temptations in your life are no different from what others have experienced. And God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. So in other words, we all face temptation. We all face temptation to depend on other things besides God. All right. Sometimes we want to depend on uh, our incomes or our career or our homes, or our net worth, or our experience, or our education, or our friendships, and I could go on and on and on and on. But what Paul's saying is we need to stop and check the gauges and make sure who we're really depending on is God. So how about you today? Have you checked the gauge? How you running? Hot? Cold? Indifferent? It's okay. Paul says this is a warning to us. Now here's what this means when you get a warning. A lot of times we think warnings are bad, right? We think, oh, I'm getting a warning. This can't be good. Well, can I be honest with you? If, if the heating uh, gauge on my car is saying I'm, I'm hot, it's all the way over on red, I'm glad to get that warning so I can pull over and get the engine serviced, right? How about today? <clears throat> In your soul, is there a warning sign going off? Pull over. Have some time of prayer. Bible study. Turn all the noise off. Just get along with God and let Him love you today. I hope you're having a good day so far. If you've had that difficult time, maybe what we've said here will help you turn that corner a little bit and encourage you. Check the gauges. Watch for what's going on, okay? Hey, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's pray, <clears throat> and I'm going to pray for you. Let's pray for our pastors in our community and our local congregations, and let's ask the Lord right now to help us all check the gauges and be completely dependent on Him. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this day you've given us, God, for this time to just stop for a moment, Lord, and go into your word. God, see how it applies to us. And Lord, we want to look for all of those things <clears throat> that we can depend on that becomes an idol to us. And Father, we just want to check those gauges and put all of those in perspective and again tell you today we're so thankful you're our Heavenly Father. We love you and we pray, God, for every person listening right now that the Holy Spirit would just do a fresh work in our lives 
Help us, God, to honor you and serve you and be a blessing to others today. I lift all of our pastors up in our community, God. I pray for our congregations in our community. Would you bless? Would you anoint? Father, would you extend their influence to others around them so that we can see people who don't know you come into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Father, we love you. We praise you. We ask you for all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. If you get a chance, give us an emoji, give us a like, share us on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. And we want to invite you. If you don't have a home church, we want you to be faithful to your church if you attend somewhere. But if not, we'd like to invite you to First Church of God. Uh, we worship every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. God bless you. Have a great day.